there are 4,300 religions, and that's not considering the ones that are being created today and the ones that are going to be created tomorrow. So what are the percent chances of you choosing the right religion that should get you into heaven, right? Before we even get into that, let's divide it into two two big um two big distinctions, right? You're either an atheist slash agnostic, well atheist, which means you don't believe in a god, or you do believe in a god. So let's go into this camp, right? Okay, you, we believe in a god, and there are four thousand three hundred religions to choose from. The percent chances of you choosing the right one, right? Consuming or considering that there's only only one, right? That's correct, is less than 002 percent. As a result of there being 4,300. That's that's crazy. That's a crazy number, you know? That's that's a crazy small percentage, considering there are so many different religions to choose from. So let's consider you go for one of the big two. Let's not even make it three. One of the big two. You're Protestant, you're Christian, or you're is Islamic. Yeah. Let's say you decide to be Christian. There are millions of different variations of Christianity. And the reason I say that is because every single person believes something different about something inside of the Bible than another person. Even if you follow a very distinct doc doctrine, right? There are certain beliefs that you'll have towards certain things that you can argue with against your pastor or should be able to if you have the smallest bit of freedom of thought. Or you can argue against somebody else within your... Um, within your church, within your, your house of worship. Every single person has their own distinct view of religion, how they believe things, how they perceive God. And if we assume that everybody, you know, if we assume that there's only one correct religion, you know, I know, I understand that most, a lot of religions don't believe that there's only one correct one. But if we assume that there's truly only one correct religion, and you're really just betting on this one, and you're putting everything on the house in this one, um, this specific set of rules, then you have a 0.02% chance of being correct. And even if you go into Christianity, there are a thousand different variations to choose from. What are you going to do? I if you decide to live this deist life, this theist life, then how on earth can you possibly decide that one book of text is better than another book of text? And you can say, oh man, it's got a lot of um, revelations that have been accomplished. If I say something very vague, anybody can interpret it in any way in a thousand years and assume that some revelation has been fulfilled as a result of it. So that is not the case. But with all these questions, with all of this reality, right, statistical reality, it comes down to, if you believe that there's a God, which I believe there is, there's a God, um, then it can't be a set of rules that gets you to him, nor can it be a set of rules that delivers you in terms of your faith or a set of rules that makes you wind up in the pearly gates of heaven. It has to be more than that or less than that, meaning that it's not a specific set of rules that you have to fo follow. Um, it's genuinely trying to develop a relationship with the creator of the universe and we have the atheistic view of sometimes these relationships with god that people have that tell them to do things that they shouldn't have done aren't really relationships at all and that kind of comes into the sticky waters of dang is this real or is this me talking to myself which is really hard to determine sometimes it's really easy to say god told you to do something and then go forward with absolute conviction in doing it even if he didn't do it and if he didn't do it then oh no there's no problem with you not being able to hear god it's just oh you made a mistake at that one time then what percentage what percentage can we like trust in terms of hearing things and, and moving forward and actually accomplishing them or seeing them done in our lives you know there has to be numbers and statistics that that tell us the numbers that the the, the the number of success the success rate in terms of being able to do that so it has to be relationship with god it has to be relationship with the creator of the universe whatever name you put on them and that has to come chief and first rather than any set of rules um the set of rules is somebody's very specific definition and they're roadway and map to getting or having a relationship with the creator it can't be yours everybody is going to have variations in terms of how they talk to god some things work for some people that don't work for another so don't think that um you're superior in any way because you've been following some rules to a t and god should love you and bless you because you've been following these rules and xyz has not been following these rules and you're in the right religion and xyz is not in the right religion that's just not the case it's got to be a relationship with god above religions because there is just too small percent of a chance and as an intelligent being if we assume god is omnipotent or intelligent being he wouldn't make something that's so dumb you know he wouldn't assume that everybody just needs to follow um this specific religion despite there being 4299 others in order to follow him or to be correct about following him. or this one person with their specific beliefs is the right person to get in that can't matter 
if this is truthful, if it is real, if it is truth, then the truth has to be the pursuit of the relationship with the creator of the universe rather than how you're pursuing the relationship with the creator of the universe. It cannot be because I follow these rules, I'm going to get into this place. It has to be because I have this relationship with them in this way. And if you decide to grab onto a guideline, which is, you know, Christianity, which is Buddhism for some people, which is Islam for some, which is um, Catholicism for some then don't focus so much on the rules, but focus on what the rules are guiding you to do. You know? That's all. Press the button. Press the button. Press the button. Press the button.